Well guys, TV for here. And today I'm gonna do my top 35 teams in the Lane Senior Area, otherwise known as the power rankings I used to do for football. This is the boys basketball. So I'm gonna get started at number 35 and work my way up to number one. But first I want to touch on something that really affected the world of sports today. Uh, if you didn't know already, Kobe Bryant uh, tragically died in a plane helicopter crash. You will be missed, Kobe. You will be missed. So number 35, the Redskins of Saranac. This team is 0-8. Honestly, well, wait, is this? Oh, that's a good red micro so Okay, good. Um, this team will be lucky to win a game this year, in my opinion. Same with my number 34 team, who is also red. The St. John's Red Wings. These are the only two winless teams in the Lansing area. But I thought that St. John's was a bigger school, so I'd give them the nod over Saranac. Number 33, Maple Valley. The Lions. I honestly didn't know this team was in the Greater Lansing until I looked uh, up another team in Greater Lansing. But they are eight man in football, so that's how I didn't know. Um, number 32, another blue team, the Pilgrims, Lansing Christian. This team has three wins. They they did beat uh, Olivet. But you may be wondering why they have Olivet so high. Like they're not that high, but they're not in the bottom thirty, bottom five. Um, it's because it's high school basketball. It's really full parody a lot of the times. Now number thirty one. St. Patrick of Portland. This team, honestly, I don't know why they're bad. They have a really good football team, and so does another few of these teams, actually, at our lower uh, down. Um, number 30, the Warriors, Waverly. This is a team that, honestly, I think was okay last year and just dropped off a little bit. Number 29, the Red Raiders of Portland. This is a two-win team. 27, 20, and 29 are all in the same league. And I think they're all really close, in my opinion. 28, Charlotte. Charlotte beat Portland in overtime just this Friday. This really, honestly, this game really came down to the wire. I was at that game, the Portland-Charlotte game. Um, 27, Sexton. These three are all in the same league. Charlotte lost to Sexton, but beat Portland, and Sexton also beat Portland, so they're actually pretty easy to rank right here, but they're all very, very close. Number 26, the Eagles of Olivet. Olivet did beat Portland, but lost to Lansing Christian. But Portland beat Lansing Christian. My paper fell. Got Lakewood, the Vikings. I think this team is a little better than these teams down here. They did beat Olivet, which caused me to rank them ahead of them. 24. We got Bath. I don't know too much about this team other than they're not that good. And they're blue. Um, number, whoop, 25, 
Humphreys Fowler. Another blue team, the Eagles of Fowler. And we got Mason. The 22. Really? This team is another one example of one that's good in football, but not so good at basketball. So is all of that. Um, number 21 is Hazlitt. Oh, wait. I'm going to put 22 in here twice. This team did beat teams like Portland, and I think they beat Mason. I don't know how they play them this week. Wait, let me check. Yeah, they play this week, I think. Um, 20, we're into the top 20 now. We got the Panthers of DeWitt. Another example of a really good football team, but a mediocre at best basketball team. Dansville at 19. Don't know too much about them other than they're okay. Holt, the Rams. In the CAAC Blue. This is an okay team. Fowlerville. I believe they're purple. So we'll use black. Sorry about my dog, he's barking. Um, number 16, I have Lansing Everett. This team took a huge step up from last year. Fifteen. Perry, the Ramblers. Craig in the top fifteen. Oh, my paper fell again. Lansing Eastern crawling its way to number 14. A team that took a step up from last year, much like Everett. These, these Lansing schools are doing a little better than they were last year, other than Lansing Catholic. Actually, Lansing Catholic's been a lot better, too. Um, Grand Ledge, the Comets, at number 13. This is a really good basketball team. It's a reverse. They're not so good at football, but they're okay at basketball. Fulton at number 12. They're... I wouldn't quite put them in the CMAC contender category, but they're up there. I'm going to draw a line where I think the district and CMAC contenders start. Um, let's see. Stockbridge. Not just CMAC, but all the conferences. Um, let's see what else. Okay, I'm going to draw the line right about here. Potterville. This is the district line. The Chieftains have opened this. I don't have a maroon, so I'll just use black. They have a chance to win the blue, but they can get past East Lansing. The Blackhawks of Leslie at number eight. Number nine, or number seven, Eden Rapids. Very good basketball team. They already lost two league games, though, putting them at number seven. The CAAC White is really tough at the top. But not so tough towards the bottom. This team. Why are they so good? Manson Catholic. Kill me if I call them a LCC. LCHS. Coming at number six. Number seven, or no, no, number five. We got Puama Westphalia. 
The five and six won state titles in football, but they're very good. Number four, Lanesburg. They beat PW, but I think PW will rise above Lanesburg eventually. But as of right now, Lanesburg is ahead of PW. Number three, another rival of my high school, of course, at number three, Ionia. Number two, Williamston. Very good basketball team. Their only loss on the season is the number one team. Who, if you can't tell already, is East Lansing High School. Sing. I don't know, probably something about Kobe Bryant. Um, rest easy, Kobe. But uh, these are my power rankings in the Lansing area. I say the league contender cuts off right about here. For some leagues, obviously the highest ranked team in the Greater Lansing is right here. So that'll help. That'll be do it today. Topping off with East Lansing, going to Williamson to Ionia on the to round off the top three. So that'll do it. These three teams could make some noise when March comes around and possibly even win a state title, maybe even this one. So that'll do it for my Lance Gary Boys Basketball Power Rankings. I wish my Raiders were a little better, but can't really control that.